What is happening guys, it's Adam here and today I thought I'd make a basic guide on how to use NordVPN. So once you've opened up the app you'll see this nice and simple easy to use interface. If all you're really looking to use the VPN for is just to get a secure connection you can use this quick connect feature and it will put you onto the fastest server which is usually the most local one to you. However if you want to choose your own location they make this very easy to do with a list of all of the available countries in the main window. You can click directly on the country's name and it will connect you to the fastest server in the fastest region or you can go into this menu here where you can choose your own location within the country and you can also choose a server to connect to and you'll notice that next to the server names you'll actually see a small percentage figure and this is how many people are actually on the server at any one time but for the most part you're going to want to leave both of these options on the fastest setting now once you've chosen your location it's easy to connect you just click one button and a few seconds later you are now connected to another country's internet and to verify that this has worked, it's quite simple to do. We can open up the browser, simply perform any random search in Google, and then once we scroll down to the bottom of the page, it will show us the location in which it thinks we're browsing from. Now, this can be useful for many different things, but one of my favorite things to do with this is to use Netflix from another country. In other words, I can access a library on Netflix which wouldn't usually be available to me in the UK. So to show you how this works, I've disconnected from the VPN for now, and I'm going to open up Netflix and take a look. As you can see, Netflix knows that I'm in the UK, so it's showing me the UK version of the homepage. Then if we come up to the search bar and I search for a title such as The Office, You'll notice that it does bring up the office and it's there for me to watch but this is the uk version of the office however i wanted to watch the us version of the office so this is where the vpn comes in we can simply come out of netflix we go back into the vpn and then we select the united states as our location now we're going to come back into netflix and this time it will be tricked into thinking that we're browsing from the us so as you can see the home page is now different this is the us version of the home page and when we come up to the search bar and we search for the same title the office it will show up in the list but this time it's showing us the us version so now I have access to a whole host of new shows and movies and it's not just the US you can do this with. You can look at many different locations and you can also do this with things like Hulu and Amazon Prime. Now another reason which people might want to use a VPN is for when they're torrenting. Now with NordVPN they have a no logging policy which means they do not keep track of any of your internet activity. Now some VPNs are actually against torrenting and they do not want you to use torrenting on their system however with NordVPN they actively encourage it. They even have specialised P2P servers just for this purpose. So when you're torrenting you're going to want to come up to the top of the list on the left and find the P2P option. Once you've selected this it will put you onto the best possible server for torrenting and then you know that you're going to be safe. So on top of this, Nord actually has some other specialist servers, so let's take a quick look at those. The first one here on the list is dedicated IP. Usually when you're on a VPN, your IP address is constantly changing. Every time you connect, you get a new IP address. However, if you want to keep the same IP address and you don't want it to be shared with other people, selecting this option will do just that. The next one on the list is double VPN. Now this makes your connection even more secure as it will connect you through one server and then directly to another server before you're getting online. And the last one on the list is Onion over VPN. This uses the super secure Onion network and it's called that because every bit of information you send or receive online is wrapped in multiple layers of security much like the layers of an onion. Now if we take a look up here in the options you'll find a very useful feature called a kill switch. What this does is it will cut your internet connection completely should your VPN connection fail for any reason. This means there'll never be a moment when you're using the internet unprotected. You can turn this on simply by hitting the switch at the top and this will now take effect over any internet activity you're doing at all. Or if you want to make it more specific you can actually use this app kill switch section and that way you can choose which apps will use the kill switch and which apps won't. This now means that basically if we're using uTorrent and the connection on the VPN drops the internet will cut out completely. But at the same time if you're using something else just like browsing on Google Chrome the internet connection will stay connected whether the VPN is running or not. 
Now, something which confuses a lot of people when using a VPN is the protocol. Now, this is a lot simpler than it seems. Basically, you can leave this on the OpenVPN protocol. This is the recommended setting. However, if you ever have any issues, say Netflix isn't connecting or something isn't quite running right, you can come into this list, select one of the other two protocols, and this will usually fix your problem. Now, if we come into the advanced section, you'll notice a setting called obfuscated servers. Now, these servers are for use in countries where the internet is highly restricted. It will get you past even the strongest of internet blocks and you'll be able to access whatever you like. So this has covered most of the main features of NordVPN. However, if there is anything else you wanted to know or are confused about, feel free to drop a comment and I'll do my best to answer any questions. On top of this, Nord actually has a great live support section. If you look on their website or you can access it directly from the app itself, you can come onto their help pages and usually you'll find the answer to what you're looking for. If you can't, you can also select the live support section down in the corner and you can speak to an agent and they're very good at sorting out your problems. They also have a whole host of useful information and articles in their blog section. So this is great from the customer service point of view because with a lot of VPNs, once you've bought the product, you kind of feel like you're left on your own. But with Nord, you always feel like they're there for any assistance that you might need. Now when it comes to their pricing structure, they're quite competitive and as you can see, the longer that you get the contract out for, the more savings you can make. Now Nord are one of the top VPNs available and they're definitely worth the money, especially for the level of protection you're getting and all the extra features that come with it. However, if you look in the right places, you can also find extra deals and discounts on top of these prices. The deals are often changing and some are better than others. So what I will do is I'll put a link in the description and if you click on that, it will make sure that you're getting the best possible deal at the best possible rate. I'll also include links to some other videos where I take a more in-depth look at NordVPN if you wanted to check it out in a bit more detail before going ahead and getting a subscription. So I really hope that you've learned something from this video and it's been useful to you. And if it has, a thumbs up would be a massive help. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I'll be doing a lot more videos on not only Nord, but other cybersecurity programs as well. So remember, when you're browsing online or using the internet, always make sure you stay safe. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch up with you on the next video.